these used to be so good. I don't know what They're just like, hey, we need this stuff. Like my buddy has like a thousand pairs already at Ontario. And then I can take everything here. All right, guys, welcome to day two at the crazy four sneakers for $100 at Adidas sale. When I walked into the store, the manager quickly told me things were a little bit different today. Only shoes that they had less than 10 in stock were eligible for the sale, but you'll see towards the middle of the video that quickly changed. These are hash? Yeah, I think some of them are. I gotta ask him. I would take these. What? Probably those. I think those were those. Predators? No, there's more than 10. Ooh, that's for sure. I guess it depends on the color. All white? Nope, no one doesn't. You can leave it open. I'm gonna ask him right now. Right How many of these are there? It looks like there's only a couple. She said anything under 10. She said anything under 10 is hash. You look at the Irish. How many? Nine. Nine? Yeah. Nine or two? Making something out of nothing. Eight, nine. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven. Need two more. Thank you. Look who's back. You guys were here yesterday. They don't know what to do with this thing. Still here. Obviously, they got swapperooed. This is what y'all trying to sell me? Oh, thank you. Bro, who are these? These don't even look that bad. Bro, you want them? Ooh. Well, they're your size too. You're not buying these. These are freaking used. They're not even that used. That used. <laughs> just finding shoes that I lost in town. That way I can grab them. Can you check how many are in stock of each of these? Yeah. Okay. You know where to cut it from, right? Huh? You know where to cut it from, right? This is the zip tie? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just how many, like, total? Okay, yeah. For They're both? two different colors, yeah. You said you know where to cut it from. Come on. I got this. I probably thought I would, I would cut that, that wire. For this white one, I have 15 different ones. I have four for the black one. Okay, I mean, one. I've seen the black ones. I'll grab the black one. Okay. You said there's 15 of these? Yeah, there's 15, but they're different sizes. Yeah. That's it called. Do you want me to try to look for them? No, I'm, they're all right there. Or they're, they're right there, but it's not 15. There's only like... Because these were in the fitting room yesterday. Mm -hmm. For like the sale, but... It's supposed to be if there's under 10. Okay, but I'll grab those. So, at this part of the video, I'm really trying to work with the store. Like, I've been here for about an hour, and I know that this is such a good sale that I don't want to let it go to waste. The main manager comes into the store, and she's like, Thomas, you have to take more stuff. So I tell her, take the handcuffs off. Like, this less than 10, let's, what can we bump it up to? So she says, you know what? 
I need to clear some bins. Anything 20, 25 or less, talk to me. Let's see if we can get it out the door. So I said, walk with me. They're both here, so it looks like a lot, but it's not that many, but it's up to you. They're 50%. And then these right here, there's three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Those I could take. There's some Terex over there I could take. There's, it's just up to you guys, I mean. Honestly, we're at the point like. Yeah, cause Ontario is doing that. Like, they're just like, hey, we need this stuff. Like my buddy has like a thousand pairs already at Ontario. So that's why I'm like, huh? Yeah, same, I was telling you, it's more like, we can't just do two hacks, it's not gonna get us anywhere. Yeah, yeah, exactly, that's what I was thinking. And then I could take these, there's only, there, she, there was 11 on the thing, but there's only eight here. Like I could take those, yeah. you know what I mean? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Mm -hmm. um, cool. I'm just gonna double check and then but honestly you can check, 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 check. Alright, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Let me take all of them. I gotta get the good sizes first. You can take these. These are 99.99. Okay. Cause there was a different color of these in the in the thing yesterday, but I'm gonna take these for sure. There was only 11. Yeah. You can check it though. You see if we have more in the back. You said what? There's 15. Oh, okay. But that's good? Okay, let me start stacking. Uh, I think he said this one. Yeah, this you could say, yeah. yeah. Um, I'll keep... Uh, keep looking. Yep, yep. Um, last size around it. I think it's only this one up here. I could take maybe to fire. I think this nine and a half is not on there yet. Nah. See like moments like this you gotta ask them like, what do they want to accomplish? They want to get stuff gone. That's what I can do. They want full bins cleared. Yeah, the problem with, I think some of these I could take, I don't think I could take all of them. Like I could take this one. I know, I'm trying to like clear full bins for you, you know? See like this one, I could, I could take all the fives, five and a half, probably these two. Okay. Okay. These are really good, and just unfortunately the other sizes. They're just not on the same listing. So basically he's telling me red tag is good. Well, there's red tags that I want that I know he's gonna tell me they're not good. So I'm gonna have the conversation before I get everything up to the front. Basically I wanna have the conversation with him so he can tell me what's good and what's not good. So, so I could take all of those, is that cool? Yeah, um, do you know the quantity? No. I Actually, just, I could, okay, yeah, take all so of those. I mean, okay. So I'm not, I can't take those. Yeah, I could okay. take some sizes of these. That's fine. Okay. Can't take those. These are supernovas, not, not, uh, what's it called? Was there a different one you were talking about or is that what you are talking about? These are ugly. Yeah, I can't take those. I could take those. I will see. I could take those. I will also see. Okay. I mean, I know there's going to be a, quite a bit of them, but if you guys want them gone, I can take them. Yeah, I could take these. I'll take these. They're not on there, but I think I could just sell them on eBay for 25. I mean, nobody's gonna argue with me. And then I could take everything here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I could take probably all those, but I know they're not allowed. No, I can't. 
can't take these. Here's a can. Huh? There's, a lot, there's not that much you can. She said there was. She scanned oh, it. There was like 50. Yeah. Oh, there. If you guys want all those cleats gone, I can take them for sure. Uh, 100%. Okay. Yeah. okay. What's going on, guys? We're back in the workshop. Before I get into this, I want to announce the winners of the giveaway from the last video. Should be three names here popping up on the screen. Really appreciate all the comments and activity in the last video. We're going to do it one more time in honor of the sale. Four for a hundred. So we're going to do four winners this time. $25 to each winner. All you have to do, be subscribed to the channel. Leave a like on the video and comment down below. And that'll get you entered into win. We really appreciate your guys' support. And that's why we want to do these giveaways. We've been noticing you guys have been showing us the love with the views. Showing us the love with the likes. Let's get into it. Insane day today that sale at adidas i've only seen it one other time before and to get four shoes for a hundred dollars is crazy they started off with they wanted to only get rid of shoes that were 10 in stock and below but they quickly realized that if they did that they weren't going to be getting rid of enough stuff they loosened it up a little bit and i was able to help them out and help me out and get rid of a lot more stuff my favorite thing that i found in this sale were these ultra boost 40s i got two different colorways i got about 30 of each on this day like a 200 dollars shoe on adidas.com unfortunately they are not on amazon but who cares like i'm gonna these things are gonna fly on ebay i already know really good colorways really good shoes super happy about that now i've been getting a lot of questions about why i don't do wholesale is oa and ra better than wholesale is wholesale better than oa and ra however you do it is a good business you're good if you do it wholesale you're good if you do it retail arbitrage you're good if you do it online arbitrage you're gonna make money either way you just have to find out what works for you what you want to do personally i've said many many times personally for us for me and my family i want to be home most of my day i don't want to go to a warehouse i don't want to have employees it is a great business i am a salesman i did sales for 10 years before i did this i know i could do it and i know it's a great business model but it is just not for me right now at this time i like doing retail arbitrage i like doing online arbitrage it takes me far less time and yes i might get less out of it i could make more money possibly if i did wholesale but i know this is working for me right now i only work going out to stores probably two three hours a day the rest of what i do is at home i don't have to be on phone calls or in meetings or anything like that so this is working for me fantastically right now and i'm just gonna keep on going but the point i'm trying to get across is all of these avenues work well it just depends on what you want to do if you want to work with distributors and sell to them and talk to them and have meetings and have conversations then that's what you should do if you don't enjoy going to retail stores and shopping next to customers and making connections face to face with the employees then don't do it like they're both have their pros and their cons who knows which one can pay you more who knows i've seen some very 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 successful retail and online arbitrage sellers i know sellers who have fleets of vans that go to multiple towns multiple stores they have employees that go source for them they have employees that pack for them they have a warehouse and all they do is online and retail arbitrage so who's to say i'm sure that person is competing head to head with the guys who are working with distributors as well so like i said do what works for you and you will be happy if you're a wholesaler let me know what you think are did you used to do online arbitrage and retail arbitrage and now you're making millions i understand everyone's gonna have a different situation i live in california i have a ton of stores around me not everyone's gonna have that so it can be a little bit different leave me some comments down below i'm sure people got some opinions appreciate you guys for watching have a good one